let us find out the magnitude of resultant forces acting on a regular polygon as an example let us consider one regular hexagon that means all the sides of the hexagon will be equal and from a point O five forces are acting on this regular hexagon this is 4 kN from O to A this is root 3 kN from O to B another 5 kN from O to C and from O to D another root 3 kN and from O to E 3 kN these are the forces acting. All the forces are in kilonewtons. These are the forces acting on the regular hexagon. Now we have to find out the resultant force of all these forces. That is, we need to find out R, its magnitude and the direction theta with respect to the horizontal. This is theta. This is x-axis this is y-axis and uh, this is r now to find out the resultant the equation we are going to use is r equal to square root of sigma h square plus sigma v square where sigma h is this com sum of components horizontal components of all the forces sum of horizontal components of all the forces and sigma v is sum of vertical components of all these forces then to find out the angle theta the equation used is tan inverse sigma v divided by sigma h now how to find out sigma h and sigma v for that we will resolve each force into its vertical and horizontal components. So let us consider the first force OA. OA, its magnitude is 4. It is acting in the horizontal axis or horizontal direction towards right. So it is positive. It is not having any vertical component. It is not having any vertical component, only horizontal component. Its magnitude is uh, 4 and uh, it is, its direction is plus. Then the next force is OB. Now to find out OB, OB's horizontal and vertical components, this is x axis, this is y axis, and this will be angle theta. This is B, O, and the magnitude is root 3. Now how to find out this angle? To find out this angle, what we know is <coughs> all these forces will be acting at equal inclination with each other. That means this angle, this angle, this angle and this one will be same. How can we say that? Because it is a regular polygon. So if uh, the points, the diagonal points are connected using lines, then the included angle between those lines will be same. Now to, how to find out this total angle? This total angle will be, to find out the total angle, we have the total included angle. That means angle O, angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D and angle D, angle E. So sum of all those angles will be equal to, that is total angle will be equal to 2N minus 4 into 90. This is the equation. 2n minus 4 into 90. So here we have how many corners? 6 corners. Therefore, this is equal to 2 into 6 minus 4 into 90. So that is equal to 12 minus 4 into 90. That is equal to, you will get it as 720. So that is it. Total angle in the, that is angle A plus angle O plus angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus 
angle B plus angle B equal to 720 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sum of 6 angles is equal to 720 therefore they are all equal also and therefore the angle between or, or angle O is equal to how much it will be? 720 by 6 equal to 120. That will be angle O. Again angle O we have already find out found out so what will be this angle theta so all these four angles will be equal therefore each angle so theta is equal to 120 divided by 4 equal to 30 degrees that will be the uh, uh, value of each angle between say OA and OB OB and OC OC and OD and OD and OE that will be the angle Therefore, what will be this component? Component of root 3 along the horizontal direction. It will be root 3 cos 30. And it will be plus because it is in the horizontal right direction. This will be root 3 sin 30. And that also will be plus. Then for the next force, 5 kN. This will be the x-axis. Okay horizontal component, vertical component and this angle will be 30 plus 30 equal to 60 degree and the magnitude is 5 therefore this component will be plus 5 cos 60 and this will be plus sine plus 5 sine 30 and for the next force again root 3 it will be in the vertical direction it will not have any horizontal components so only vertical component that is 3 kN okay then for the other force which is acting like this this will be the horizontal component and what will be this angle the this total angle will be 180 degrees and this is we know this we know already 120 degrees so this will be 60 degrees so the component will be the horizontal component will be and the magnitude is root 3 therefore its horizontal component will be root 3 cos 60 and what will be the direction magnitude direction minus because it is in the other direction and this will be root 3 sine 60 plus so these are the uh, for components of vertical and horizontal components solved components of all the forces acting at a point O now we need to find out Sigma H Sigma H how can we can find out Sigma H Sigma H is equal to first two force plus 4 then plus root 3 cos 30 plus 5 cos 60 this angle this uh, this this component then minus root 3 cos 60 <coughs> these are the because uh, this is the first component horizontal component second horizontal component third horizontal component and the fourth horizontal component this is minus so when you find out the so solve this uh, equation you will get sigma h equal to 6.5 kN. Similarly, sigma v. Sigma v, how to find out sigma v? For the first force, there is no horizontal vertical component. Second, it has one vertical component. Third and the uh, fourth has only vertical component and the fifth has vertical component. Therefore, the total force in the vertical direction will be equal to first one, root 3 sin 30 plus 5 oh, this is actually 60 sin 60 and uh, plus 3 this, this force only vertical component and plus root 3 